was to be with you was to be with you the apostle paul wrote to the church in thessalonica and this is just a short little verse but consider this he said do not quench the spirit to quench means to extinguish to put out that's exactly what it means I mean, so there's a, always remember there's a consistency to the Word of God. Okay? What Paul talks about in this letter, he, you may get more clarity by reading what Paul said in this letter. And you may get even more clarity by seeing what Isaiah wrote 750 years before. Or what God spoke through Joshua even hundred. The, the Word of God is all connected. Okay? And that's where your understanding of it should come from. Because the Greek word that's used there for quench literally means to extinguish. You know, it says, let a man examine himself. So I don't want, I'm not going to sit here. I'm not, this is not the Inquisition. And I'm not going to examine you. However, I'll give you a suggestion. Maybe examine yourself and ask you, do you get more excited about going and watching your favorite football team after the services than you do when you're at the services? What excites you exactly? <laughs> I don't want to sound corny, but I'm never afraid to sound corny. And I'm going to tell you. My love excites me. I'm talking about you. <laughs> no, I mean it. It's like, what excites you? Good brothers and sisters should excite you. That kind of fellowship should be exciting. Because the world doesn't have that. Well, they can all get together and they can have a billion and a half friends on Facebook. It doesn't mean that they have a single friend. They don't have somebody. You know, there is one who sticks closer than their brother. His name is Jesus Christ. It's when you have that kind of fellowship. Because the Word of God says that, Behold, how pleasant and becoming it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It's pleasant. It's becoming. It's good. You know what's exciting is when, when we're in Bible studies and you see somebody that we're, you know, when we're studying the Word and they get it. It's like a light goes on and they understand what's going on. That's a great thing to say. Yeah, and that, that is exciting. It is exciting. And when you see your brothers and sisters being obedient to the Lord and doing what He calls them to do, that's exciting. That's even more exciting. Yes. All right? Because yes. there, there is getting of it. Yes. There's the knowing it, there's the understanding it, and then there's the doing it. Mm -hmm. And each one of those grows, and it'll grow your excitement. And that, when you see it, it encourages you. And it's just. It's like a flame that just keeps bouncing around, igniting us and getting us all. Well, I think anybody that knows anything about fire, especially wildfire, will tell you, you know, the thing is, it's contagious. Right, right. Now, that's the thing. It's, it's going to spread. It's going to spread. It's going to spread. Yeah. So where is that fire of the, of the believers that is spreading? Do you want some fire in your life? I mean, do you want some excitement in your life? Of course you do. I, 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 I'm talking to you. I mean, do you really? Do you want excitement? You, are, you, are you tired of, of boring church? Are you tired of, of boring Christianity? You want some excitement in your life? Same old, same old. It is as simple as this. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. And He is a consuming fire. I need you, Lord. More than ever before Not the things of earth But so much more So much more It's your presence That this heart is longing for And I need you, Lord more than ever before All the things I thought I needed Simply fade from view In the light of heaven's glory That I see 